Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, good morning and assalamu alaikum to you all. I am your English teacher and this is the summary video of today's online class of English. Dear students, as I explained you noun in the previous lecture and types of nouns. So again, I will <coughs> tell you about the types of nouns and then we will come towards its written work. There are different types of nouns. But over here in class 3 you will only study common noun and proper noun. Only two types. So I will tell you again that what is common noun. Common nouns are any person. Means that common nouns are the general name for any person, place or thing. Common nouns are not capitalized. What does it mean? That common noun we always write with small letter. They are not written with capital letter unless and until they will come in the start of the sentence clear the examples are the city look here simple name for a general name is written for the city it's a common noun a policeman that newspaper the newspaper is a common noun why it is a common noun because the name of the newspaper is not mentioned here that whether it is the news whether it's dawn whether it's uh, Mashrik or it's Arj newspaper. So, it, this is common noun. Clear to you? Okay. Then, another definition of common noun is a common name used for a person. Person's example is girl. A common name used for place, that is city, and a, or a thing, that is toy. Clear? Okay, now I will tell you that what is proper noun. Proper noun, it is capitalized and means a special person. When you give a special name, a particular name to any person, any place, anything or any animal, that is called a proper noun. Clear to you? Another definition of proper noun is, proper noun is a specific name for a person like previously in the common noun uh, in person's column girl was written but over here the name of the girl is written Emily then previously we have studied about the common noun in the place only city is written but over here it is written Seattle and for a thing toy was written but in the example of proper noun teddy bear is written so means that a uh, proper noun when we gave a specific name to that thing place or a person or an animal that is called proper noun clear to you look here noun is divided into two types proper noun and common noun what is proper noun proper noun they have a name Again, the same thing is repeating again and again that they have a name when you give a particular or a specific name to anything. For example, Audi, number two, England, number three, Justin, number four, Pepsi. Now, Audi is the name of car, that is proper noun. England is the name of country, proper noun. Justin is the name of singer, also proper noun. And Pepsi is the name of drink, that is also proper noun. Now look at the other side, common noun. What is common noun? They do not have a name. Means that we give journal name. They do not have a name. But we give general name to them. For example, car. <coughs> car, all the cars are called car. So this is a general name. All the countries are called country. So this is a general name. All the singers are called singers. So this is also a general name and all the drinks whether it is water it is fanta it is sting it is any other juice so we call it drink name is not mentioned here so this is common noun clear to you okay now another definitions of proper and common nouns are common noun used to name people places or things in this it is written that used to name people but general name okay you will not give specific name things in general it refers to the class or type of person or thing without being specific clear to you we did not call them with any particular name okay 
for example girl city animal house food then we will move towards proper noun proper noun used to name a specific individual person place or thing proper nouns begin with a capital letter example john london pluto france now see the difference the examples of common nouns are written with small letters but if they will come in the start of the sentence then you will write them with capital letter but the examples of proper noun they will always be with capital letter whether it will in the start of the sentence in the mid of the sentence or they will be written at the end of the sentence now students i will show you a video with the help of it you can easily um, <clears throat> understand the difference between proper and common nouns place animal or thing name of a person like boy girl doctor teacher name of a place like home church theater office name of an animal like shark bird butterfly ant name of a thing like car or a bike Airplane Fridge Laptop There are six types of nouns Common nouns Proper nouns Collective nouns Singular and plural nouns Possessive nouns And terms of address in this video, we will be learning common nouns and proper nouns. Common nouns are general name of a person, place, animal or anything. Proper nouns, specific or particular name of a person, place, animal or anything. Let's learn common noun and proper noun in persons. Like boy there are so many boys first boy is common proper john name of that boy doctor common doctor sam proper name of that doctor teacher common miss or mrs diana proper name of that specific teacher common noun and proper nouns in places like school oxford school name of that particular school hospital common care hospital proper name of that specific hospital office common post office proper bank common 
NCB Bank Proper Park Common Hyde Park Proper Lake Common Serpentine Lake Proper name of that particular lake. Common noun and proper nouns in animals like cat, common, Lucy, proper name of that specific cat, snake, common, cobra, proper, dog, common, spotty dog, proper, Bird, common. Eagle, proper. Name of that specific bird. Common nouns and proper nouns in things like car, common. There are so many cars, but BMW car is proper. Name of that particular car. Bike, common. Black bike, proper. Umbrella, common. Red umbrella, proper. Pen, common. Green pen, proper. Chair, common. Blue chair, proper. Mat, common. Purple mat, proper. Toy, common. Toy car proper. Thank you for watching. Now, dear students, with the help of this video, you can easily differentiate between common and proper nouns. Clear? First, in this video, a noun was explained. After that, common noun and proper noun. The types of noun is explained to you people. And now you can easily understand that what is common noun and what is proper noun. Now students, after this, what you have to do, you will come towards your neat notebook and you will ready the page properly, you will draw margin line, write down date and day, page number. Then in this way, you will do work in your neat notebooks. You will give the heading of common noun, then you will give the heading of question, then you will write question, define common noun, give three examples, then you will write definition. What is the definition which I have written for you people? Common nouns are <coughs> name. Common nouns name general people, animal, places, or things. They do not need capital letters. Or only they need capital letters when they will come at the beginning of the sentence. But when they will come at the end of the sentence or at the middle of the sentence, at that time they will not be written with capital letter. Examples are girl, cat, school, toy, etc. You can write any other examples of yourself related to common noun. <coughs> then you will use the same words in examples in sentence form. Number one, the girl is dancing. In this sentence, what is common noun? Girl is common noun. So you will underline with the help of color. Number two, I saw a beautiful cat. So, cat is an example of animal. It is the example of common noun. And you will also underline with color. The toy was not very cheap. So, toy is common noun. Because the name of the toy is not mentioned. Whether it is teddy bear, it is tweety, it is toy aeroplane, it is toy train, it is uh, any other uh, toy. Okay. So, this is about the common noun. Now, after writing the definition, you will write activity related to common nouns. Then question you will write, underline common nouns in the given sentences. First sentence is, my grandfather is very old now. Now grandfather, all of you have your grandfathers. Okay, so you give them general name that is grandfather. But when you people mention uh, that is the example of, this is the example of common noun. But when you people mention the name of your grandfather, then it will become the example of proper noun. Number two, tomorrow we will go to the park. 
again park is the name of uh, uh, again park is example of place common noun and uh, this is not a proper noun why because name of the park is not mentioned over here okay i am eating an ice cream ice cream is the example of common noun because the name of the ice cream is not mentioned here then the newspaper was very interesting newspaper is common noun you will underline it with color because the name of the newspaper is not mentioned i visited a very big city city is common noun because the name of the city is not mentioned clear to you these are the general name of places things animals or people now we will move towards proper noun the same way you will ready the page and you will give the heading of proper noun then you will write question define proper noun give three examples then you will give the heading of definition underline all these things then with the finger gap you will start writing proper nouns name specific people animals places or things they always begin with capital letters clear now when we give a particular name to something a specific name to something any people uh, some people any animal any place that is called proper noun and proper noun will always start with capital letter see the examples sara i have written sara with capital s jacky jacky is the name of dog here so j will be capital lahore lahore is the name of city here so l will be capital rose is the example of thing that is a proper noun if i will write flower then it will the exam it will be the example of common noun but the name is written over here that is rose so it is example of proper noun now again you will write uh, use the same words and examples in sentence form number 1 sara is eating cornetto now sara is proper noun because we have given a specific name to the girl cornetto is the name of ice cream that is also proper noun because we have written the uh, name of the ice cream then jacky is playing with the ball now jacky over here is the name of dog clear is playing with the ball now the ball is general name for all the balls it is not written whether it is playing with tennis ball it is playing with volleyball it is playing with baseball or cricket ball simply we have given written a, sim, a general name for a ball so jacky is written for the dog it's the name of dog so this is proper noun i bought roses from lahore now roses these are the examples of proper noun name of flower is mentioned and lahore it is city the name of the city is mentioned so this is proper noun now activity related to proper nouns question circle the proper nouns the words are in front of you you have to circle the words with the help of different colors clear number 1 is pluto comma book comma car now why pluto is proper noun because it's the name clear and book and car these are the general names clear number 2 city toyota food now city and food they are the general names but toyota is the name of a specific car number 3 june man bird for all man we use general name man for all birds we use general name bird but june over here is the name of month specific month number 4 eagle flower ice cream now for all flower and ice cream we use the general name that is flower and ice cream but eagle over here is the name of specific bird number 5 country toy sunday now country and toy are toy are the general examples general names for uh, all the countries for all the toys and sunday is the name of a specific day clear so i have circled it so girls you will do it very neatly in your neat notebooks and uh, one thing more that look here in this exercise all the proper nouns are starting with capital letters clear to you now what is your homework question number 1 is write definition of common noun and related activity in neat not notebook after that what you will do question number 2 is write definition of proper noun and related activity in neat notebook 
now girls i think this topic is clear to you in my previous video lecture i have explained you noun in detail then it's both the types proper noun and common noun in today's video again i have explained you what is common noun and what is proper noun now i hope that you have understood the difference between common and proper noun this is all about today's lecture thank you and allah hafiz